Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the last three part of question number first of exercise 9.5. Here again, you have to use a suitable identity to get each of the following product. You have to multiply this with this without actually multiplying. Instead, you have to use a suitable identity. These two terms are same. So this term same multiplied with this term is actually means. This can be written as minus a plus c whole square, and if I write it as c minus a whole square, so these are same thing. I just exchange these two terms. The sign will remain the same. Now we have to solve this. So. To solve this, we can remember a certain identity here as a minus b whole square. So this should be equal to a square plus uh, minus two ab plus b square. So we have to use this identity here. Here our a is c and our b is a. So when I expand it, so First of all, it should be a square, which is c square minus two into a into b. Our a is c and our b is a and plus b square. So our b is a. So this can be further solved. This is c square. This is two into c into a, which is two ac, and this is a square. So this should be the Answer. Similarly, here also these two terms are same. So these two terms can be written as x upon two plus three y upon four whole square. And it, now we have to solve this. So this is plus sign, and this is a plus b. So a plus b whole square. This formula can be used here. By expanding this, this is a square plus two ab plus b square. Now I have to expand this using this identity. Our a here is this x by two, and our b here is three y by four. So we can substitute here value. A square is our a is x by two, and this is whole square plus two. Into a, which is x by two, into b, which is three y by four. So this will be a square plus two ab plus b square, and our b is three y upon four whole square. Now further solving this, we have to solve this. This is x by two whole square means x square. And this is two square means two into two, which is four. Now, if you want to solve this, two can be cancelled with two. Now we have to multiply the rest of the numbers or even the rest of the terms. So we have to multiply denominator with the denominator and numerator with the numerator. So x will be multiplied with three y. So this will give us three x y. And denominator will be multiplied with denominator. So four. Is multiplied by one here. Only one will remain, so this should be four. And this is plus. Now this is three y upon four whole square means three square y square and four square in the denominator. So three square will be nine. Y square will be y square and four square will be sixteen. So this would be the answer here. Now similarly, if you want to solve this, this is same as these two terms are same. So this can be written as seven a minus nine b whole square, and again this is a minus b. So a minus b whole square can be used here, and this is equals to a square plus b square minus two ab, or you can write it as a square minus two ab plus b square. This will be same. Now we have to substitute. Or you can say we have to expand this. Our a here is seven a, this one, and our b is nine b. So in place of a, we can write 
as 7a and this is whole square plus rb square which is 9b whole square minus 2 into a which is 7a into b which is 9b. Now if you want to solve this is 7a square which is 7 square is 49 a square is a square plus this is 9 square means 81 and b square and minus now this is 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 9 so this can be written as this can be done 2 into 7 is 40 and 14 into 9 we can multiply so this is 36 this would be 126 now this would be 126 and a b so this would be the answer here so this is how you can solve these questions using a suitable identity thank you